Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and today I'm here to share with you some things that I got um, from Target and Home Depot. Some Home Depot I bought, some was orders. I just placed an order just for curiosity's sake. It would not let me order the cleaning products. It strips those out, and the only thing from my order that's not here is the mask, so I'm going to share with you what I got. I'm going to start with Target yesterday. Um, but these two right here came from Home Depot when I was actually in there. They didn't make it to be in the video. So as you can see, they are going bye-bye. But starting off with Target, I actually went in there to find this. And I found one can, guys. It said they had several. It told me what aisle. I went in there and they had one. Now this right here is what I had been looking for. Y'all know that I want this one for work. I want to spray it on my clothes like when I come out of a room. And I know that it may not be intended for that, but it won't cause a problem. What I like and why I plan on doing that is, as you can see, it says that it sanitizes soft surfaces in 30 seconds. So I don't have to be sopping wet, but I need to spray a good amount because normally I spray a little Lysol on myself, not all day. But being that I work in nursing care, sometimes when you come out of certain rooms, you do, you just feel grimy. Now, I won't spray this on my skin or anything like that. And underneath my uniforms, I usually have on a long t-shirt. But I will be able to douse myself just a little bit, you know, so that I can be freshened up. But this is mainly meant like the Tide one for your laundry or... Like I would say, say I had a jacket that I wore to work and I wanted to wear it the next day, but I didn't want to wash it because it wasn't too bad. You can spray it to refresh things like that. So I am going to be using it a little bit off from its intended use. And I'll try to put this here so you can kind of see that right there. So what I want to do with it won't be bad. I doubt it's the recommended thing, but it will work for that because as you can see, it says five minutes sanitizes and in 30 seconds also for soft surfaces. So I'm very happy to have found that. I would like to find two more. I'm kind of careful because I know we don't have too many limits on the cleaning products anymore. But just in case we do, I want to get enough that I have it should they run out. But I don't want too much. And I could stand to get, if I can, three more of those. If not, just two will do me. I went ahead and got another container of these because I'm going to take this one to work for the med cart. And then this right here I got for my Swiffer and I hope that it fits. I just wanted to try these. Um, and I really do like the um, spray that I had when I moved into this apartment. Y'all know that I had the mist, the spray mist in this. I really do like that. And then this right here. Now, here's the funny thing. I wanted to try this because it's got charcoal. I have a Crest toothpaste with charcoal that I haven't opened up yet. But this made me think. Y'all know that there be people on, you know, social media that'll come on here. They'll show a certain toothpaste. And they'll say, my teeth are white because of this. And then you later discover that they're actually using a whitening product or they slip up, you know, in something they post and they show the whitening system that they use. And I think that's just bad. I think they should be honest and tell the truth because I hate that myself. That makes you try certain things. If I were to tell you that this toothpaste makes my teeth white and then I'm secretly using a whitening product, that's not cool. Now I understand what people talk about when they talk about filters and things like that, you know. Because you get young people that watch you and they're looking at that and they're thinking that they can look that way, not realizing you're using a filter. However, there is an Instagram filter that I want with the glitter on it that's so cute that I've seen everybody using. I would love that, but not for false purposes, just because I think it's cute. Because y'all know I'm 53. To me, I look 53. And a lot of my photos that are on Instagram, the ones that are actually of me, that's all me. There's no no filter, no Photoshop. I'm not going to get on there and pretend, you know, that I'm doing something and it's not filtered. It's all me, which is fine with me. But I do like that glitter one. I think it's so cute. But anyway, I want to try this out and see how it does. And then I need to move this cup of coffee of mine because I wasn't feeling too great when I came in. But now, the things that I ordered from Home Depot, I, um, oh, I forgot. I got this coconut creamer from Target. And y'all know when I came in yesterday, guys, I left it sitting out for like an hour because I forgot about it in my bag. But I think it's still okay. Um, so I'm going to put this in that coconut coffee when I was telling y'all I wanted to try that. So this right here, guys, I actually saw this in Target yesterday because when I got this, this box 
that box right there and then that box was sitting outside when I came home Saturday. And this felt super light, like I had never picked it up in the store. I just thought it felt too light and I said, maybe there's something else that goes with it and somebody took it. Turns out I was wrong. So far I've had good luck here with my packages, but when I saw one in Target yesterday, I picked it up just to see and it is super light. I don't know where I'm gonna store this at and I went ahead and got it um, because I had put this, the tape measure and the toilet paper and then I had micro band in my basket. When it said that I could order guys, I just did it just to see because if I'd have known that this thing was this light, I could have, you know, brought it out on the bus but I got that so I'm happy to have that and then in store some of my repeat items was I got another one of these because mine is green so I got the fresh and I got two more of these micro bands I actually used this on my med cart this weekend guys and I love it it was my first time using it but um someone at my job the receptionist liked this and she had the orange one and I plan on taking one of these up there to her and ask her if she doesn't have one already or didn't find any more i'm going to give her that one and then this is kind of messy i kind of like this old-fashioned comet here for the tub even though i have other things and i got another brush because i know that cleaning the med cart with my brush even though i haven't done it yet is going to tear it up and then something new for me that I haven't even looked up yet, but it's not new, is this Simple Green. I have never used this. I think I used to hear about it on TV. And then I went ahead and got this Dial Antibacterial Soap because all the soap that I have, I don't think that I have this one. And then what I ordered from Home Depot, and it came in this box, guys. This came, so I thought that the masks were in here. The masks that I ordered are like the N95, but according to the photo, it has a silver strip, so I'll see. But this right here was like less than $7. And I actually thought, guys, it was going to be half this width. I didn't know it was going to be this thick. And this is a tape measure. And I have to hold this in to pull that out. And then it holds it. Because I don't know what I'll need a tape measure for. I just knew that I needed a tape measure. I didn't even know that they came in feet. But I don't think anything that I'll be measuring will be over 25 feet. But I definitely needed one. And then here, guys, was this tissue. And y'all remember when we first had our pandemic, right? When we first had our pandemic, y'all heard me. I was kind of making jokes, but not jokes to be rude. Y'all know I was kind of being funny for myself. Y'all heard me say that the one thing I didn't need during that time was toilet paper because I still had a nine pack roll of the aloe charmin now the aloe charmin is the one in the green label i don't think it says aloe anymore it just says sensitive but when i bought it years ago it actually said aloe sensitive skin so i really do like that one and i have three rolls of that left and the reason why i had one of these at that time and I had one and I think I had like six rolls of that which is why during our pandemic and the no toilet paper and everything I still had that nine roll pack of Charmin which I just opened up here and y'all know I moved in here last summer last June and July so because it's just me in the house and I had no neighbors or family borrowing toilet paper I'm pretty sure that's why mine lasted like it did the jokes that I was making was me talking about how we're in the middle of a pandemic and toilet paper is sparse. And instead of me buying what was available, I was holding on to what I had because I really, really do prefer Charmin. I grew up with it in the house. I think Cottonelle was new then, but Great Northern and Charmin is what I grew up with. And I ended up loving Charmin. It's what I've been buying all of my children's lives. And one is 32 and one is 21. But I really do prefer this. But guys, this is why I still had toilet paper. I didn't have to worry about nothing else. Now my Viva, you know what I mean? I had to worry about that. Cleaning products, I was kind of okay on. But I didn't have to worry about tissue at all. And I bought two of these. And two of these guys, with nobody borrowing this from me, is probably going to last me well into this time next year. Honestly, because... You see these rolls, these are like the double rolls. And in this pack, it says that these 12 equal 48. So I will use my last roll of the aloe that I have. And I'm going to put those three rolls up because I really like that one. And I haven't seen it, but I haven't looked for it per se at Schnucks. But I will put those three up and I will buy two more of those. Now those are like, I think half the size of this or there's nine. I think there's nine rolls in there. 
I will buy two of those and I will keep these and I will stop right here. So like I said, nobody's borrowing anything from me so I didn't have anything to worry about. So I'm gonna put this up and I'm gonna share with you cause y'all know there's Bath and Body Works and then I have my other special purchase over there. And I better put this creamer in the refrigerator this time. So from Bath and Body Works, y'all know that I placed an online order because I kept forgetting to get a couple of the soaps that I wanted. This right here I purchased um, off of eBay from a friend. I got it for a good price, but I'm not crazy about this. I'm glad that I got it and I have the sugar-coated one coming. It's not come yet, but I will say this. I know a lot of people were comparing this to Beach Marshmallow Summer Nights and I kind of say that backwards if I'm not saying it right. I actually liked that scent, but I had used it so much in the beginning that I got tired of it. Like when it first came out, I had like maybe three creams, about three um, lotions. I had two mist and I had, I think two shower gels because the last one started changing color on me. So I got kind of tired of it, but this don't smell like that to me. I mean, it does smell similar. It smells a little off though. To me, this smells like a knockoff of that or like because it's from Canada and ours is from America, they tweaked it just a little bit. Now, a lot of people, you know, say they smell just alike, but to me, and I'm saying only to me, they don't. I'm not crazy about this. I might even take this in our store and see if I can exchange it. But I'm glad that I got to try it. And the one that's just like the cotton candy, what is it, cotton candy clouds? I'm not going to get that one. But I do want the sugar coated. And I know a lot of y'all been talking about the white t-shirt and a couple of other ones. I might try to seek those out. But we all know that Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret, they're known for tweaking their scents and interchanging them. Whatever we're missing at Bath and Body Works just might show up at Victoria's Secret and vice versa. But I'm still glad that I got to try it. So as far as the soaps, let's see what I got here. I got the Waikiki Beach Coconut. Um, this smells really, really good. This was another fragrance body care I grew tired of because I went ham on it. When y'all have already heard me say that when this came out in body care, Oahu Coconut was body care as well. And it was different colors. And the shower gel was always changing colors. Like it, one of the yellow ones guys turned orange. So I'm glad they made it clear. And I'm definitely going to revisit the clear and the lotion because I did like that scent. And I do have a perfume in that scent. Y'all know that I showed one candle in that scent. I was able to score three total. I burned two and it was phenomenal. So here we have Waikiki Beach Coconut Soap. And let's see if I can get this to focus. Dragon Fruit Water Bamboo Coconut Jasmine. I ain't never paid attention to those notes before apparently. So the next one, and I wanted to make sure I got the ones that I missed out on getting. This one here is Mandarin White Freesia and Soft Raindrops. And this one is the Sparkling Mandarin Rain because I missed out on that one. This one right here, and they, I thought, did they seal that up? I'm glad. I thought they had a seal on there. This one is the Sea Salt and Lime. I definitely wanted to try to get this one. This is chilled lime, fresh eucalyptus with sea salt. And then the other one that a lot of people are saying we had before, Beach Bliss. I'm wondering if I had that. There was one that I had. It matched the crab candle. I liked it so much, guys, that I did not finish using it. And I don't know if it was this one or not. But I did not finish using it. I actually re, you know, turned the, the nozzle so it wouldn't come out and I put it up. So this one's Ocean Breezes Water Flowers with Creamy Musk, and this is the Beach Bliss. I do love this blue, but I have noticed that now over time, Bath & Body Works soaps don't hold their color. Now this one right here, when Oahu Coconut came out and Waikiki Beach and Body Care, I did not like this. I did get the hand soap though. I found out that I'm not that crazy about Palmelo, and that is a prominent scent in this, but I don't mind it in the hand soap. The hand gel and the body care is a bit much for me, but the hand soap is okay. This is Fresh Island Coconut, Pacific Palm, and Driftwood. And I had to get this whether I liked it or not because it's cute. And the soaps that I'm not crazy about, they get used up at work. I wasn't sure if I had Island Papaya or not, so I wanted to go ahead and get this. Tropical Coconut, Fresh Papaya, and Sugar Cane. 
And then of course I had to get another Sunshine and Lemons, guys. That was the one that took me by surprise. I had that, wondered why I liked it because I thought it was Kitchen Lemon and that's why I took it to work and saw that it was different and I loved it. So this one's staying home. This is Yuzu Grapefruit and Sunrays. I really like that and a lot of people at work like that one too. Now this one right here, guys, I had to have in this particular packaging. I'm going to tell you something about Fiji White Sands. When they came out with their hand gel, I went through like three or four of these. But then they had a hand cream. I was able to get three and I accidentally gave two of them away. Like I, I meant to give one away and keep two, but then I forgot. They never came back out. Guys, the hand cream, the little tubes of hand cream in this. I'm praying they bring that back out because I love it and everybody at my job loved it. The same way that they liked the Waikiki Coconut um fragrance mist not fragrance mist but room spray and it did have a good smell they liked this in the hand cream the hand cream in this would turn people's heads and make them ask what i had on they wanted some i promised a co-worker some if i ever got any more and they don't have it but i'm hoping they bring it back out this summer in their hand creams i really really love it so this one as you can see is white sands vanilla orchid and warm amber so i wanted to definitely for someone that likes plain packaging sometimes and just something simple, I love this. That's why I purposely got this in this look instead of the one that was printed up like the rest of these. So that soap can appeal to everyone. Those who like the printed labels like this and those who like the simplistic look. So I wanted to try the Orange Sunrise because I've been hearing everybody talk about this. And this is Sweet Orange, Juicy Peach, and Sugar Cane. The notes make it sound like it's going to smell really, really good. And this should be one for the top of spring that might be very, very nice. And then, of course, y'all know I had to get my standby. I had four of these in my cart and was only able to get two. But when our store opens up, I'm going to go get about five or six more of these because this is my favorite. And it surprises a lot of people and my coworkers that when I start talking about bath care that's unfragranced and hand creams and lotions and gels that are unfragranced they're kind of shocked but i love this because it's your general standby if you are a cosmetic um someone who does people's makeup or you just want to give someone an office gift um maybe they don't like a lot of scents this is perfect and i wish they would make more of these I still have a lot of the Bath & Body Works unfragranced line here. I do wish they'd make a butter. I have the oil, which is perfect for putting under your perfumes and your scents. But I really do like this, and I'm very, very happy that they made this in a large size. So I'm definitely going to get about five or six more. I will keep three for myself, and I will give the other ones away at work as a gift. So I think we're nearing the end. I'm going to show you my special purchase for myself that I went ballistic over this morning. They were sold out of these things within 30 minutes of opening some of the stores, but I went to Target. Y'all can already guess if you've been following me what I'm talking about. So I got my hands on all but one of the ones that I was looking for, and that was whatever the plastic glass looking, I don't know if it's hot pink or red cup is. It's a, is it Grande? The Venti is the one that I'd be going after. But I got all that I wanted except for that one. So, Mrs. Kai, Mrs. Kai is to blame for this. I love her. I said that I didn't want this because I'm not really crazy about the fishtail the fins i wish that one side was this and one side was the lady but if i don't really look at that and just look at the cup in general i do love this seafoam type cream so i had to get this and these particular ones are only 18.95 i want to try to hold that so you can see it so this one was 18.95 and where am i going to put that at and this one, this is the one that Miss Kai had. This one was $18.95. Now, I know enough now about these cups to go and see them in person. I wasn't really crazy about this one because it has the bunnies on it. But because I had got this Valentine one, it wasn't going to hurt me to go ahead and get this one. But guys, I love this turquoise. I love this turquoise, and I wish they would have done this differently. They said that these cups are a mix of the spring and the anniversary cups. So I do know the one that I couldn't find is a 50th anniversary cup. So, as you can see there, I really do like that. The bunnies can go somewhere. I really don't mind the flower, but I still like this cup. 
And then this one, the one that everybody has online for $100 $200. I noticed today, because I rechecked eBay, I don't do Poshmark or Macari, but all those same sellers, guys, have dropped these cups down to $70, $50, $45. They're more normally priced. I imagine that when these go low, that they will raise them back up. But guys, Starbucks here opens up at 5 a.m. I was out at 6.15. I went to the Target on Burkhart. And they had an anniversary coffee that's like $16 that I want. I want that. It's whole bean. I just want it because, and I'm going to drink it. Like, I'm not a collector or anything. The only reason I get two of these certain cups is because, in case I break one, because I take my cups out of the house. Um, but also, in case my daughter should want one, because she's real famous for saying, Mama, I don't want that, I don't like that. And then when she sees it in person, she changes her mind. So, I do have two of these, and I do have each of the grids, but everything else I purchased one, guys. And these cups are gorgeous. There is a short one, and I didn't get the short one. I was going to for work, and they had a coral-topped solid lid one. And it had flowers on it. Um, the colors were like the colors in here. This color right here by my thumb. This color right here. I liked it enough to buy it as a gift but not to use for myself. These are the ones that I like for myself right here. And this is all that I got. Now, I'm done looking for cups as far as today. If I happen to find that one that's in California. Because I think that's where it is. And it's a shorter one. Um... And I don't really know what it's called. I just know that on some of the Instagram pages, it looked glass. Somebody put an oil slick tint on it. But it's actually a clear, hot pink, magenta type color um, with a green lid. A little bit deeper than this. See through like this. That is the one that I want. I might get two of those because I would definitely bring that one out of the house. But I bring like this one I take to work. That pink and silver one I take to work. I haven't touched the dark purple one one of these i would probably take mostly this is probably the one that i would carry out of the house but i had to get these and even though i said i didn't like this one you see i still got it so this was my gold find for the day this is what i wanted but a lot of places the meyer here they open up i think at seven and they said they were sold out I'm not one to traipse all over town because I happen to be on a bus and I know that I can go to our Target on Burkhart. So that's what I did. The thing of it was is I wanted to get one of these to send off to a winner, but I ended up not wanting to make them wait. So I would have sent, but the box that I did was full, but hopefully they'll be able to get one. But I love this, guys. I'm happy to have these. This is just gorgeous. So that is it. That is all that I got. I wanted to share that with you. And until the next time, everyone have a great day.